a few years staring at myself, in mirrors, inspecting, reflecting, mirrors in bedrooms, bathrooms, changing rooms, any old reflective surface will do it. The bowl of a spoon. A shop window. A pool of rainwater. Drinking of myself. There I am in the loving gaze of a modernist, one of my own kind. But most of all, in the eyes of the local face, our leader, where all beauty is magnified and all defects are noted and corrected, as befits. Oh, Brother Vincent, he cut the mustard with a sharper blade. Or else he set fire to the mustard. Or else say this, but he blows up the mustard, the whole job. Kaboom! One, two, one, two, three, four. I need more. More spark, more energy, more fire. Things are moving fast out there. I mean, there are new bands coming up and they're going to burn us to dust. I have to push us on, Clifford, because the face is looking at me. I'll take the blame if we fail. <laughs> One more step. I dare you. Like father, like son. Clifford, up to your usual. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, I'm just saying how you're up to your ever-loving self. Huh? There I am. <laughs> ever-loving. I remember you, Clifford, eh? When you used to walk up and down the King's Road, flaunting your goods on display for any old duffer that might fancy a bit. Yeah, that's over with. Who the hell? Who wants the bathtub? Who wants some of it? Hey, I just just I'm I'm right. Clifford, let him be. I said, let him be. <laughs> Occurring? Oh, nothing much, and yourself? Likewise, but really now? Oh, this and that, as I'm saying. As I'm saying. Excuse me? <laughs> nothing much, as I'm, as I'm saying. But what was he articulating? Nah, he is but learning. I'm the one getting in the sweat, I'm the one getting his garments wrung out Leon. every occasion. No, because I'm the one, as I'm making it plain, with all the girls with their goggles are fixed upon me. And yet you two, begging your pardon and all, but you two are standing there looking somewhat dismal with your electrical guitars on display, thus and thus, and you're getting paid more than I am. I mean, is that fair? The face has spoken. He has? Did he speak of the latest rulings? That he did. Ooh, divulge, divulge. The face has noted that certain uncouth practices have made their way into the true art and leisurely craft of motor scootering. Oh, that cannot be. No, verily. Well, only before, when I was walking out, I did see a bunch of these junior mods. Oh, the shoddy way in which they were astride their vehicles. Oh, I was all aghast in my goggles, I swear. Oh, it makes your biscuit bowl crumble, it does. Ah, oh, and it does. And to this end, the face has set before us the following decrees. There I was previous, astride my vehicle, my chosen mode. Your chariot of chrome. My wheels, my silvery transport, riding and sick. And my own sweet mischief maker. Oh, my Leon, crazy through the traffic. There he goes. No cares, no snares, no beetles in his biscuit bowl. Joan's not be having any tonight? No, not tonight. 
But I would like some, a little. Where's the arm? You saw what I had last time with his stuttering. He's not singing tonight. I don't want him taking it, not ever. You hear me now? This golden opportunity passed us by. Aho! <laughs> but we are set fair to make this night our own, are we not? I'll make it plain that when I take my place here at the Rose of England Ballroom, I'll have the crowd dancing non-stop to my ribbons. And I'll have all these executive types here assembled who will be on their knees in front of me with their checkbooks in their sweaty mitts. Oh, watch me now. Oh, readily. I will be right alongside, as always. Myself also. <laughs> Vincent, are you with us? Well, you're just a man. Just a man about town. I will go to see 